Hi, so continuing on, we finally made it so the pointer shows up around. Now all we need to do is make that sure that our ship actually looks at our pointer. So go ahead, click on your ship, and open up your move script. I used to make sure all the way on top, I made sure I have a variable, a private transform called target, which is, that's going to be the pointer. That's what the ship is going to look for, that pointer. Now we're going to make another one, private transform. We're going to call it my transform. And that is to make sure that we're able to cache our own transform into a variable. So my transform equals transform. And go ahead, go all the way down after the bullet code. We're going to make our own new function. So this is what makes the ship turn around and look at the cursor. Call it private boy. We're going to call it look at cursor. And now in here, we're going to say if not target. Now, the command I'm going to do uh, it, it works pretty good right now with the 3.4.0, but anything below from that, like 3.3, it might start giving you errors, so you know. So we're going to say target equals game object dot find with tag. And here is when we're going to actually put our tag. So in this case, I name it pointer. Make sure you get the spelling right in here. So if you didn't name it with a capital P when you did your tag, then do the lowercase p for that prefab. So I name it with a capital. And then we're going to do dot transform. Then else, if we did find the, we did find the pointer, we're going to say my transform dot look at target. Now if I just do that, I need to make sure I call this function now. So go ahead, go movement look at cursor and then if I go ahead and play it was it's actually going to look at the cursor there's gonna be a little glitch and that is if you move your mouse too close from the ship it's actually going to move that way not where it's supposed to see so in order to fix that pretty quick it's actually or rotations so we're gonna say my transform dot local Euler angles just in case you ask about this whole Euler angles type thing, when it comes to rotations, uh, like back in school, for example, we use a protractor to measure our degrees. Euler angles is just a type of measurement. Like, and same thing for quaternions. It's kind of like saying kilometers, miles, centimeters, millimeters, so on and so forth. Continuing on, let's say new vector tree. For the x, we don't want to rotate that way. For the y, we're going to say my transform dot local Euler angles dot y and for the z we're going to say zero and then now it's going to work now just to make sure so you know one thing earlier when we did the rigid body thing and we did the constraints for trifling transformations uh, the rigid body transformations is different uh, that it's using this right here when you do transform dot look at it's using the actual mesh movement not the rigid body rotating around so that's why it's like that. It's kind of all crazied out. So this right here is just going to go ahead and start working like normal. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and I can go ahead and shoot that way. So now the next video I'm going to actually make it so our bullets don't uh, start disappearing. And we're going to do a little bit of optimization when it comes from the movement. We're going to add boost and then you know start killing all little asteroids and st stuff. Y'all have a nice one.